You were there in the room. You actually asked Jay Powell one of the most poignant questions. He was pretty thoughtful about his answer. So I, I want to get your reaction to his response. You asked him if he was comfortable with the market, believing that the Fed funds rate would be more than a percent lower by next year. What did you make of his answer? And, and what do you think? Well, I thought it was important for him to have a chance to push back against what's happened in the markets. And he really didn't take the opportunity much to push back against the cuts that have been priced in. And then so now you see this morning, of course, even more cuts are being priced in. Uh, and I think, you know, the big development yesterday was really at 830 when we got that PPI report. If you take the inputs into the PCE inflation report for November that came out of this week's CPI and PPI, uh, you get six-month annualized inflation rate of 2%, actually probably a little bit below 2%. And so uh, they seem to have you know, picked up on that quite notably. If you're running six-month annualized inflation at 2% and your policy rate is at five and three-eighths and it's there because you thought inflation wasn't going to come down so quickly, uh, well, then you know it's it's possible that you've gone too far and that you're going to have to correct. And so I think we saw some of that yesterday. So in the statement, the dot plot, everything else, are we clearly pivoting right now? Is this the final thing? I mean, Jay Powell, he tried to hold out some sense that they'd be quote unquote data driven. But in your mind, are we officially in a pivot? Yeah, this was the beginning of a pivot. Uh, I, I don't think you could you you could say that, you know, they are going to hike again, even though they held on to a very weak tightening bias in the statement, it felt stale uh, as soon as the press conference started because the chair came out and said they had had been, you know, begun preliminary discussions around rate cuts. Uh, and he didn't really push, you know, push the idea that they were debating whether to hike again, even though they clearly wanted to retain that option. You know, they don't want to have something happen, some new shock hits the economy, and they have to come in and say, uh, well, we never promised that we were done. But, you know, effectively, when you're talking about rate cuts, uh, you know, and putting them in the SCP and talking about them in the press conference, then, you know, the next move is more likely to be a cut than an increase. And I think that's where we are right now. So you're mentioning a, a shock to the economy, something that might threaten what appears to be uh, a soft landing that we're on pace for. I do want to ask you about today, Super Thursday, central banks in Europe making decisions. Does that at all factor into the Fed's decision going forward as they look at next year's meetings? I don't think, you know, what other central banks are doing is going to factor into what the Fed is doing. I think that what's happening with inflation in other countries is certainly going to, you know, that, that's something you're going to take note of. You look at, you know, core HICP in Europe, it's come down notably in the last three months. So this isn't just a U.S. story where you've had the so-called immaculate disinflation that, frankly, the, the Fed has expected for a long time that inflation would come down uh, without a lot of, uh, without, you know, a huge increase in the unemployment rate. And so you're seeing that now. The, the last point I'd make is, you know, I referred to that six-month annualized inflation rate for, for November PCE of 2%. The last few times Jay Powell has spoken, he has referenced six-month annualized inflation rates, and that's because so much of the progress in the, the decline in inflation has come over the last six months. It was interesting to me that he did not do that yesterday. He noted that they think they're going to be at 3.1% on PCE on a 12-month basis. He didn't mention the six-month annualized rate, right. uh, and that's because it has just made such striking progress. And it would have been quite dovish, I think, to have said, we might actually be undershooting our inflation target on a six-month basis.